keep on going down the same road towards Auschwitz, and I don't understand why you think we'd we'd understand at some point that, hey, maybe that's not the way to go. It's strange to me that we had a giant, we've had a a giant war and have suffered many other genocide, genocide dictators and all sorts of horrible things. And yet still that way of thinking is not extinct. That way of thinking is still alive and well. And people like Andrew Tate are raising your boys to men, not boys to men, like the amazing, are they from Philly? I think they're from Philly, uptown Philly back again. I don't think that, um, he is qualified to raise your boys to men. He'll do it though, because you're not teaching how, how people should actually be thinking. People aren't thinking. They're thinking, they are thinking, but they're thinking they're better than others. And the second that you think that you have the right and the wisdom to decide who lives and who dies, who's free and who's incarcerated, who is in trouble, who's, who's, who's good, as soon as you're the one who's deciding that, if you don't have the humility to, to understand that you need to question your own biases, then, hey, you end up like Andrew Tate, full of himself, completely confident, able to con his way into, into your home. He's in your house, Andrew Tate. He's, in, he's, uh, he's coming through. He's coming at your little boy. You got, you got a son out there? Andrew Tate's going to raise him for you unless you do it. Make sure he's not a Nazi. And the thing that I, oh my God, this, this diamond.